Cool Contraption Guy with Tom Fox, workshop editor for Boys Quest and Fun for Kids magazines, presents... This is the parts list for the solar-powered flashlight. It is also given in the YouTube description. Okay, here's the stuff we need for the to make the solar powered flashlight that doesn't use a battery. Drawing one here is a template which will guide you where the screws go for, so to make connections. The next video clip will show how to you do this. The first step here is drill pilot holes for our sheet metal screws. In order to do this, we'll use this template, which you can print out from the description by clicking on the board to tape it to the board. The exact position isn't that important, although this template is a good guide. Then we just start the screws in there. After we have started the six screws in the wood, the next step is to start wiring the project with the help of these screws. Drawing two here shows which parts are connected where. The next step is to wire the parts. We use these screws here as terminals so we can connect the leads of the parts together along with the wires. We will follow drawing two here. First off, we're uh, putting the LED. Now we want to make sure we use the short lead of the LED on this screw. We just bend it a bit like this and put it around the lead and the other one and we then just take a screwdriver and finish tightening it. best to use a screwdriver instead of a driver because it's uh you can have more control and the next one we we will put it around there but we won't tighten it because we also uh, have to have a lead on this one this one I didn't quite tighten either because uh, that's one reason why it's a driver isn't as good because you don't want to tighten them because we have to have lead here. Now we hook up the resistor here to this uh, to this screw as it's shown here. Just put it around here and then we tighten it. Now it's we have two uh, it's easier to, it keeps in place when uh, once we have two in there because uh, it does move around before that. And we then uh, we go from uh, connect the other lead to the of the resistor to this screw. And we connect one of these capacitors, which is the minus side. There's a minus side right here. And uh, you can see right there. And so we connect that to this. There's a minus marking, and we connect it to this. We 
make sure you have a good connection. The next one, we the next connection is we connect it to this screw. But before we tighten it, we want to connect the other capacitor. Again, this it'll be a capacitor, this minus side will be on this one. And we put it around here and then we hold it and tighten this. And then this one here, there's three wires connection to it here. So that's a little bit harder, but since these are uh, they have uh, they're hex washer sheet metal screws and they have a little bit bigger uh, like a little washer attached to it and it's a little easier to uh, make connections to it. But before we do that we have to uh, strip cut up pieces of wire here. We'll show you how to do that in a moment. Now we have to hook up these wires to the to this screw and to this screw. Now you have to you can't use the you can't connect the this is insulation under this is red insulation plastic and this is white. You have to get to the metal which is copper. You can use wire strippers you can use side cutters or you can use simple inexpensive scissors. I sort of like scissors for some for several reasons but one of they're very available and uh, they usually work pretty good <laughs> like that. You gotta do both sides, well you gotta do both sides. Just pull it up like that and do the same with this one here. In order to uh, hook up these hookup wires, they hook up to uh, this one here hooks up to the LED and it hooks up to the popsicle stick switch. This one here hooks up at this connection here and this also hooks up to the popsicle stick switch. We are going to do the popsicle stick switch in a few moments and we will use the drawing 3 in order to uh, be able to uh, show how it's done. Right now we want to make another connection to uh, here. This, as I said before, goes to the popsicle stick switch, but first we will make the connection. Now uh, this other one is uh, this other one that goes to the, the other the switch we put in here but we also put in the rectifier as we see in our diagram there's the rectifier that goes here here's the rectifier now look at this rectifier there's a band on it that band is actually shown in dark here this is here it's in on here it's white so we have to make sure this is connected correctly. When you did the resistor, this resistor here, it didn't matter which way you did. This, this is important, you put, hook up the leads properly. These are important, hook up the leads properly. And so is this. The resistor does not matter which way you go. It's what they call non-polarized stuff. Technical term. Remember there's three connections to this screw and it's a little bit harder to do because there's three of them. Now of course if we were born with three hands it would be a lot easier. And the other end of this rectifier we just put around here the screw. The other connection around the screw is going to be the, the red wire from our from our uh, solar panel, so we won't we won't screw this one in all the way, just a little bit more. Okay. 
We're almost done with the wiring of this. What do we got to do next is what are we going to do? First is going to connect these wires then we're going to have to glue this down and then we're going to the last step is to make the hook up the, make the switch here and hook it up. Now we'll have to connect the wires but we want a little bit more wire showing so we got to take a little bit more plastic uh, insulation off of these uh, leads from the solar panel. And the last, uh, which you connect the, this is the black wire. This red one goes here, the black one goes over here. We, we put it, uh, pull this a little bit apart more. And we connect it here. The wiring is done except for this popsicle stick switch. Now we're going to glue, cement this down to the board. I've made uh, this before this uh, solar powered flashlight and I did find this um, general purpose duco cement did work quite well. Now of course we will have to wait until it dries. The next and last step is the making of the popsicle stick switch which is described in the drawing 3 and also in the my YouTube video which is the first episode of my Electricity Mysterious Yet Useful series the making of a popsicle stick switch. It's in my Cool Contraption Guy YouTube channel. In the last step we had two loose wires, this one here and this one here. It's important before you, when you make the popsicle stick switch, that you put this wire to this screw here before you put on the, this popsicle stick here because it's hard, very hard to uh, screw it in. Okay, the last step here is just to put this other wire around this knot here. We just put it like this and tighten it a bit. Now we're all set. One other thing is you can adjust the distance between here so they're not touching by tightening this screw here. And then the tighter you have it the farther apart. Okay now when you have it, now it isn't charged so there's no no light. So there's just a tiny bit but we have to charge it by putting in the sun or some bright light. Now we'll take a video of close up of the project here so you can see exactly how it is done. Okay now we'll show how to use uh, this. You All you have to do is press the popsicle stick switch like this and there it lights. The LED used in this project can generate as much light as four lit candles. The energy that powers this flashlight comes from the sun and other light and as I stated earlier there are no batteries in this project and yet the flashlight still works at night. The electrical energy is stored in a capacitor and not batteries capacitors can last for hundreds of years unlike batteries which often are useless in just a one or two years. By the way capacitors are not new they are actually over hundreds of years old however supercapacitors are new and the capacitors used in this project are supercapacitors. In an upcoming video I will describe what capacitors are all about and even how you can make one yourself. I will also show in this video how to modify the project to make a brighter light and also to double the electrical energy storage capability.